There are many parts and assemblies for the Revell 148th scale Warthog to be painted. It makes sense to spray as many parts first, then hand paint next. Gloss Steel TCP 354 is being sprayed at 28 to 30 PSI using a Vega 2000 airbrush fitted with a 0.3 millimeter or medium tip on the front jet engines and the exhaust nozzles. The directions call for this metal color, but we have included TCP 1226 titanium in the set, which is more appropriate for these parts. Turn and tilt the parts to ensure complete coverage. TCP 433 matte black is being sprayed on the fans for the inner rotor. Painting the ordinance is the next step I have chosen. TCP 1397 white is sprayed on all of the Sparrow missiles using the same procedures and technique as mentioned in the gloss steel section. Repeat this process for the other side. TCP 1374 Federal Standard 34087 Modern Olive Drab is being sprayed on all of the cluster bombs and the ECM jamming pod using the same procedures as described previously. Don't forget to turn and tilt the parts to ensure you have covered the entire part evenly. Repeat all of the above for the other side after allowing side one to dry thoroughly. The gloss aluminum TCP 013 is sprayed on both napalm containers using the same procedures and techniques as described previously. Repeat this process on the other side to ensure complete coverage. This completes all of the ordnance supplied in the kit for the A-10. TCP-1206 Dark Gull Gray is now being sprayed on the interior of both fuselage halves where the cockpit will be positioned. Note that I had erroneously sprayed interior green in the inside as I had done so many times in the past for US aircraft. Also being sprayed is the cockpit base and parts that go inside. Gloss White TCP 005 is sprayed on the struts and on a part 
where the front strut is attached to. Note that this latter part also has a section of the Gatling gun, which will be hand painted matte steel much later in the build. Regarding the struts, there will be two other colors hand painted on them later. I am continuing to spray colors on a lot of parts used for assembly of the A-10. Next to spray is the TCP-433 matte black on all the wheels, repeating the same procedures as before and doing both sides of the wheels. I will hand paint the hubs later in the build. TCP-1213 Federal Standard 34079, which is a nice olive green, is sprayed on both sides of the seat frame, as some of it may be visible after assembly to the seat section. Other colors will be hand painted later to represent the ejection levers and areas as shown on the instructions. Last major color I am spraying in this section of the video is TCP-1227, Federal Standard 36495, which is the base color of the three-color camouflage scheme of the flipper scheme we are doing. Please note, the flipper camo scheme is a wraparound scheme, so the TCP-1227 needs to be applied to the exterior of all sides of every part before the second camo color is applied. I will be masking critical areas that must be protected later, such as the jet engine intakes and exhaust, cockpit area, front wheel well, etc. In this first section, please observe I am spraying the exterior of the fuselage halves after the interior was masked to protect the dark gold gray interior color. The jet engine exhaust pieces and the large fuel bod and a few other parts. Note, many of the parts being painted have already been cemented together, which will be shown in another chapter. Sorry about this, but I wanted to show as much of the spray painting at one time. One side of the wings, stabilizers, both tails, speed brakes, which are called decelerons, tops of the wheel well covers are being sprayed with the same base paint. Part of the spray painting section of this video is the second side of all the parts that need the TCP 1227 base coat. Note 
there was no need to spray the other side of the fuselage halves and the interior of the jet engine covers. That's why you do not see them shown here. As with all the other spray painting videos, make sure you cover the entire part by turning and tilting the base. To reiterate, I am spraying nearly every color in this chapter at 28 PSI using a Vega 2000 airbrush fitted with a 0.3 millimeter or medium tip. Plus, the majority of the colors are being sprayed directly from one or two ounce bottles fitted with Badger adapters. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.